everyone! So as everyone knows now, um, Philip and I have broken up. As he says in his video, it was mutual. We were starting to fight a lot. I know quarantine broke a lot of couples up um, and unfortunately we were one of those couples. We just started to fight about little things, just really stupid things, and it just kind of snowballed into just hostility and just, yeah, bad. I still care about him a lot. I still have a lot of love for him. I only hope the best for him. I know in his video I'm laughing and smiling and having a good time and it looks like I wasn't hurting at all and I didn't care about the breakup, but that's completely false. When we did that phone call for his video, I had been driving across the country for a week at that point. So I was actually just happy to see him, to be honest. Um, seeing him on that video call made me happy. <laughs> And also, I laugh when I feel uncomfortable. I laugh at awkward times. It's just how I cope with things. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. Um, so a few days after we broke up, I had to drive myself from one end of the country to the other. I had to drive from Vancouver to Toronto, because that's where I'm from. I had moved out to Vancouver to be with him. I had my car with me. I didn't want to fly. So I drove myself. And I decided it might be a nice thing to just make a video of my road trip. It's not going to be very sad. I didn't really want to film myself, you know, being upset or crying. I don't really want a video of just sadness. So this video is just kind of like a vlog, if anything, of my journey across the country. The drive took five days, and if I wasn't filming myself or working on something, all I would think about is the breakup. So I'm glad I had this video as a distraction, if anything. I had my breakdown in Vancouver before I left for a couple days, and it was a horrible, horrible time. So I just wanted this road trip to be something for myself and filming really did help. Okay, so here's my road trip. Enjoy! I am here in my hotel room. I'm still in Vancouver. Um, it is 9 o'clock at night. I am trying to get some sleep soon because I've got an early start to the day tomorrow. I am driving to Calgary tomorrow, which is about a 10 hour drive. On the good Trans-Canada Highway. I came here in winter and it rained for months. It started to get nice and then coronavirus hit so everyone was quarantined. And now the city is kind of opening up again and I've got to go. No thank you, I have seen the final destination. Goodbye. So it's day one of my road trip back to Toronto. Um, I've been officially on the road for three and a half hours now. So Philip's mom just texted me and I broke down crying because she's the absolute sweetest person in the world. I've just been listening to music and vibing hard on this drive. You know what hits fucking hard? Old Evanescence, man. It's so sick. You know that song Epiphany by Stained? I think I've listened to that song five times in a row on this trip. That's such a good song. I don't even care. I like Stained. My windows are up, right? No one can hear me. I love stained! <laughs> Okay guys, no, I'm not at my grandmother's house. I am at my hotel in Calgary. I fucked up. So I booked all my hotels before I left Vancouver. I didn't put much thought into it. I didn't really research what I was booking. I just kind of went on like bestwestern.com. I a lot of Best Westerns and they're usually pretty decent. I, <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm in a two-star hotel in downtown Calgary in like some sketchy area. I don't know Calgary. This is like, I think my either my first or my second time in Calgary. I didn't know which area I was booking in. I pull up and I'm looking around, I'm like, okay, this is kind of a sketchy area, but it's fine. I'm just staying in my room. And I am just coming from last night in Vancouver. I stayed at a Best Western and it was sick. So I'm like, okay, the room is gonna be good. It's not, guys. It's not good. It's not good. It's a very two-star hotel. The couch is something they picked up on the side of the street. I think like a possum lives in it. Look at the toilet roll that they left. These are the amenities. Just kidding, I brought this with me. Every girl that has ever used this hair dryer knows the pain when this sucks your hair off your scalp. So this is what my hair looks like if I don't straighten it after a shower. So the drive out of BC was very, very beautiful. Obviously it's through the Rockies, it's gorgeous. I was having trouble listening to my Spotify and then calling my friends. I just couldn't get any reception, so like, Bill Gates, if you want a spot to put up some 5G towers. Anyway, guys, 
So I'm gonna get some sleep, hopefully not get murdered here. Tomorrow I am going to Regina. <laughs> it sounds like vagina. First and only stop of the second day. I've been driving for five hours. I've got two and a half hours ahead of me. I just stopped to get some gas and it's not self-serve. It's like full service gas stations here. So a nice young man helping with some gas, but we socially distanced, so it was great. You know you're in Alberta because sedans just stop existing. I swear if you live in Alberta, like you, you have to own a pickup truck. You, they don't even sell sedans here. Like what's a sedan? You go to buy a sedan and they're like, oh no, you're in Alberta now, eh? Let's get you a nice Ford, eh? And then you're just like, but I have an office job. And they're like, oh yeah, well, how are you gonna get your computer to office, eh? A nice pickup truck will do that for you, eh? <gasps> I'm, I'm just kidding, I'm sorry. They don't actually talk like that here. So I'm making good time today and I was like, okay, well, I can stop at some places along the way and maybe do some cool stuff. There's nothing on the drive from Calgary to Regina. It's just fields. It's, oh, there's some cows. And if you look to your right, sometimes you'll see some horses. <laughs> I guess I'll go to my hotel then. Okay, so I just got to my hotel here in Regina. It's really nice, actually. It's a lot better than the last one, but I did find something that I'm not a big fan of. That's a sock. So that means my room wasn't cleaned as good as it could be, and I probably have coronavirus now, and this is fine. Okay, so third day. I think it's the third day. Could be the fourth day. No. Am I in Toronto? No, no, no. Third day. I'm in Winnipeg. Um, not much to even talk about. Oh. Oh, that was so embarrassing. This homeless guy came and knocked on my door and asked me for some change. I gave him some change, by the way. I'm gonna go to the hotel now. Winnipeg. I'm sorry, am I in the Ritz? I don't know what this chair is, but it's exciting. So it's day four, on my way to Ontario. Oh, that was a huge bug. Oh God. I'm just so happy that I'm going to be in Ontario today. I'm going to Thunder Bay, Ontario, then tomorrow, Sault Ste. Marie, and then the day after that, Toronto. I'm officially in Ontario. Drake, where are you at? So I just stopped at a 7-Eleven to get some gas, and I had to go pee, so I was in there and the lock didn't work, and I was like, okay, there's like three people at the gas station, and they're all just like filling up their car and dipping, I'm not gonna have someone walk in. I go pee, and like as soon as I'm about to like finish peeing, some man walks in, and like I'm yelling, I'm like, no, 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 and he just keeps walking in, the door keeps opening further and further, and I'm like, no, no, like I'm here, stop! And finally the door is fucking fully open, and he's like basically in the bathroom, and he just stares at me for a second, he's like, oh, I'm like, well, yeah, I've been, I've been screaming. How did you not hear me? He's like, oh, ma'am, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to, I didn't mean to walk in. I'm like, okay, it's fine, it's fine. He's like, oh no, you must think I'm a creep. I'm like, listen, like, it's fine, it's fine, let's go. He's like, oh God, I'm so, and he just kept going on. I'm like, listen, now I think you're a creep. Like, get out. What are you doing? Why are you still in here? You say sorry and go. Have you never interacted with a human before? This, you're doing it wrong. So I just had to stop the car because there was a moose in the road. And I was on a WhatsApp call with my friend, so I couldn't get a video of it. I think it's the first time I've ever seen a moose, and I live in Canada. Two moose in the span of like an hour. Hello, Mr. Moose. Hope you're doing well. Oh my god, I'm... I don't even know. I was so upset that I didn't get to film the first moose. And then I looked to my left like 20 minutes later and there's like a moose grazing in a swamp. Yay! Okay, so I'm in my hotel in Thunder Bay and it's more like a motel, if I'm gonna be honest. I was living lavish with that Keurig in the last place and now I'm back to this. Let's see the hair dryer. Ooh, Connor. Okay, so it's day five now. Um, I just left my hotel in Thunder Bay. I'm on my way to Sault Ste. Marie. And then that means tomorrow is Toronto. I just stopped at like a little scenic area. Here, I'm just gonna have my coffee and kind of just chill for a little bit. I have to pee though. 
and I don't think there's gonna be a stop for a little while. I should probably stop drinking so much coffee. Oh God. Okay, I'm not trying to get killed here. But this is like the fourth moose that I've seen. I called my parents to tell them that I saw a moose and they're like, uh, okay. I was like, okay, well, am I the only Canadian ever that's never seen a moose in the wild? I thought it was exciting. <laughs> Okay, so I've officially seen too many moose. Too many mooses. Too many meese. I've seen too many meeses. I'm really sick of them at this point. I think the moose is like the national symbol of Canada, and I've never seen one before. Or is it the beaver? And I've seen those, am I right? Vagina. Okay guys, so I'm in the hotel. Okay, let's go into the bathroom. Ooh, the lighting. Okay. <laughs> Come on. It's a decent hotel, to be honest, it's actually not bad. I just want to save a little bit of money, but not be in like some dingy place. The thing that really makes this hotel though, the view. Check that out. Where am I, Hawaii? So I'm about six and a half hours away from Toronto today. My air conditioner is broken and it's about 28 degrees Celsius today. And there's a few things I'm not looking forward to about Toronto. I know the drive there, I'm gonna to have to get on the 401 at some point, but if you're from Ontario or even Canada, you probably know about the 401 and how much it sucks. So I'm dreading that. And I'm also dreading the fact that I know I'm gonna to have to parallel park when I get to my, my place. And it's all I can think about. I've been thinking about it the entire trip. I might call my brother and be like, hey, do you mind meeting me at my place and parallel parking for me? I really hate parallel parking, guys. If you invite me somewhere, I'm look I'm googling it first to see if I have to parallel park, and if I do, I'm not coming. Okay, I'm about 45 minutes away from Toronto. I haven't taken any breaks on this drive. I just want to go. I just want to get there. It feels weird being on a three-lane busy highway after all these side roads and like that one Trans Canada highway. But it feels good to know that I'm so close to a city civilization. <laughs> I hope my place has air conditioning. Hey guys, so I'm in my Toronto home for the next little while. It has air conditioning, so I'm feeling super good. It just feels really good to be back. So I woke up and I think someone puked like right outside my apartment. This is fine. <laughs> Welcome to Toronto. Okay, so I am officially back in Toronto and I'm finally seeing my best friend, Yovana. It feels really good to, it does to feel see really you good. again. And despite everything that's been going on with you and me and just everything in the world, Fuck. it feels good to be together. It feels nice. It's been 10 months since I've seen you. And honestly, I hate to say it, but it went by fast. It went by so fast. It I think just because so much happened and it just, it felt way more substantial than year-long relationships or five-year-long relationships yes. because just so much happened. People feel like they have to spend all these years with somebody in order to develop like a deep bond but mm -hmm. I think that's the farthest thing from the truth. Absolutely. And I think your experiences with that person and the connection overall says so much more than any kind of time that and I think we can both speak on that with our oh, yeah. past relationships. I'm yeah. Good to know that we're on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> the same depression page. Yeah. But You've got your own shit going on. Yeah. Like, yeah, we're just two two sad girls. But you know what? It's cool because this time apart and being able to just kind of reflect on yourself is really good. I think we also lose ourselves as well sometimes with people because we're so focused on like pleasing them and making sure that we take care of them that we kind of lose touch with ourselves and what we need as people. Holds up. You think that pleasing the person is going well and that, you know, that's all that it takes, but lose yourself faster than you know and then when you start to lose yourself you almost become a different person yes so then the, the person that that person did not fall in love with exactly you. and so that person starts to resent you because hey you're not the person i started dating they see a part of you that even you didn't know existed exactly and then you seem like the total crazy bitch when really you should have just been taking care of yourself all along 
You know what else fucks everything up? What? Quarantine. What do you think about those new blue license plates? I hate them. That first came out in Ontario who was like, oh my god, I have to switch my license plate to be blue. Well, what, what is the meaning if it's blue? Like, what is It's point? just new. It's just what Ford brought in. Because that's important. <laughs> I thought, I thought they had a deeper meaning than that. Uh, they're blue. Some sort of significance for blue. Them? I guess that goes with Toronto? Yeah. No, wait. Blue Jays. Blue Jays? What? Maple Leafs are blue. Yeah, but what about the Raptors? The only team that's ever done anything for Toronto. <laughs> Does Drake like blue? So yesterday I saw my best friend Giovanna and today I'm with my other best friend Pauline! <laughs> we are just hanging out outside of Ryerson University just watching some skaters skate because what else do you do? It helps get rid of sadness. <laughs> Everyone here is so good looking and um, we're just looking for um, reason to live. <laughs> Can you edit that out? <laughs> Can I edit that in? <laughs> so we were just talking about boobs and butts. It's the guinea pigs and how much they poo. They poo a lot, but I miss their pooping. I didn't even know them and I miss them. The beginning of Corona with me and my ex was like the beginning of the end. One person being a bit more paranoid than the other and like not really knowing how to find a compromise, middle ground. I really wanted a bit more alone time. And he didn't. <laughs> okay, that person had Corona. <laughs> Oh, here, sir. <laughs> I want to die. I found that dime at the skate park. I'm going to pick this up for the next person that asks. <laughs> You're a dime. <laughs> Take one to no one. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I swear I'm going to have happier videos coming. I love you all. Bye.